Pokemon Speedrunning Podcast, Episode 4. Um, I am one of your hosts, Etiquette, uh, joined today by other hosts, uh, Skoagogo. Hi. Jordan97. Hello. And special guest this time, Brady Boo. Yo. All right. So uh, before we get into the notable runs, I uh, just want to give a quick little recap of uh, the last month. Because uh, we had a special event that happened. We had the uh, Barrier Blitz event for Pokemon Let's Go Speedrunning. Um, it saw eight of the top runners of Let's Go battle it out in a 24-hour, you know, essentially reset fest of uh, Pokemon Let's Go Speedrunning. We had four Let's Go Eevee runners and four Let's Go Pikachu runners. Um, and then the results of that were Etchy. Um, one with a time of a 3.02.34. Uh, there were two other runners that got 3.03s. Three, no, four more runners, I think, that got 3.04s. Um, and then one runner that was a, a bit above a 3.04. But everyone was able to finish runs. Everyone had some really high quality runs. It was a lot of fun. Um, and I think. I mean, if you're watching on the Twitch channel right now, you could go to the past broadcasts. They will probably be gone if you're watching this in the future. But for now, they're there. <laughs> so uh, they are actually highlighted in approximately oh. hour and a half chunks. Nice. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, hour and a half chunks. So they should be there for a long time, hopefully. Nice. And we haven't talked about going over to YouTube actually yet. I've been, I've been slacking on that. My bad. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to get over onto the YouTube so it's there as well. But... Yeah, it, it'll be really cool. Um, that was like the the first of its kind of event. Uh, we've had tournaments and stuff in the past, but that was the first sort of like one or two day just raw, you know, record attempts or whatever you want to call it. Um, we actually did see so the record wasn't broken during the event, um, but you might see some more Let's Go stuff later on in the podcast. Um, but almost more importantly, we actually saw, I believe it was three different runners beat their personal bests during the event. So um, Etchy's time, the 302.34, was a new personal best for him. Uh, Jim Freak got a new personal best in Let's Go Pikachu during the event. And Caternese actually got a new personal best as well. So uh, it was definitely some high quality gameplay there. Yeah, also um, just to throw out there, uh, it was like, Thank you to everyone who did take part and helped out. Once again, it was a lot of fun. I tried to set everything up for it all. And yeah, I, I don't know what else to add. <laughs> hopefully there'll be yeah. less tech issues next time. <laughs> and hopefully there is a next time. Um, I think it'll be it'll be really cool to see, even if it's not, you know, let's go again. Uh, any of the other Pokemon games, I know there was talks of potentially doing something for gen one through three um and we just sort of have to see where the see where the interest lies and see what we can actually do with it please do wait too <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I know there's been talk about in the with the i don't know if they decided on red or emerald or any whatever if they wanted to do with it but i know there was talking the gen one to three discord all of the above <laughs> Everything, Eventually, we should just yeah. do it for all of them, yeah. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe. I, I don't if know. There's enough I'll... interest. I don't see why not. The events are so cool. Yeah, I mean, I at least on the personal level, I don't know if I'd be involved with them. I'd like to be, but yeah, on the if if nothing does happen, probably within like next three months, I might maybe look into plan another one. But we'll see. We'll see anyway. <laughs> This is not the Blitz podcast. It's just... It is not. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, so so moving on from Blitz, we do have a few notable runs this month. Um, surprisingly, nothing from the Gen 1 through 3 um, side of things. But I don't know, Sko Skoa, do you want to take over the uh, DS runs? Yeah. So the first one, as I'm sure most people know, uh, Worcester got the Hard Gold to Silver Any Percent Glitchless record back. Um, in classic PS podcast style, I've highlighted one of the worst parts of the run. Um, 
And in Worcester's own words, this run had the highest of highs and lowest of lows. So as you can see, that was one um, spinner that he hit. There was actually another one, Sabrina's Gym, that he hit because he messed up the uh, run minute for it. Um, so yeah, two, two spinners. Um, and as you can see by the Bugsy split up at the top, this run didn't exactly have an amazing start for the time that Worcester is going for it. I believe he's going for like a 331 or something. Um, that Bugsy split is really, really not good. Um, to the point where on the rival fight that's immediately after Bugsy, he took like an insane risk to try and kill the run because he wanted to like just reset and try again, get a better time going. But it survived anyway like through all the risks that he took to try and <laughs> kill the run but um yeah so jordan i'm gonna ask you to actually fast forward to the blue fight because the blue fight is one of the most insane things in this run it's the penultimate fight so okay um uh, that might be a bit too far i it's okay i think i found it uh, yeah the executor yeah. so this fight is really really annoying in that if you get trick room from executor you you lose time because you have to wait for trick room to wear off or else everything just kills you however on turn one uh it's a 14 and 16 chance that executor goes for trick room and then one in 16 for hypnosis and one in 16 for leaf storm so worcester got the one in 16 for hypnosis and then it, he also got two Leaf Storms following it. So he's able to get both X specials set up and heal um, so that he wouldn't die to ride on if he missed the range. And also, you know, just higher HP in general. Um, he was able to heal out of that and get no Trick Rooms whatsoever. Um, now, we don't know whenever you're already asleep because it won't go for Hypnosis if you're already asleep. Uh, and we don't know how the odds stack up for Leaf Storm versus Trick Room. But... Um, that is quote unquote the the demigod blue, which is I I don't think anyone has gotten that in a run so far because it's just so unlikely to happen and not very many runs get to blue anyway. Um, and just for reference, that the the god blue would be getting the hypnosis or lift or leaf storm turn one, but it misses instead of hitting, and then you kill executor on turn two and set up the second next special and ride on and go from there. And it saves a lot of time, but no one's ever gotten it because you know you have to get the one sixteen for the move and then have it miss and like with with how few runs get there, just no one's seen it. But um, yeah, overall, uh, I know Worcester's not happy with that time. I know that he is gonna try and improve it still. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good to see records changing hands in this game again. And hopefully he can, and probably next month you'll see a lower time because I think he's going to stick with it until he gets a, a better one anyway. So, just to check, is this the one that's from like was the previous world record from 2018 or was this one that Minnow had? Oh, uh, no, like... this Buster got it earlier in the year, I believe. Right. Um, because Worcester had like a, a 334 and then Buster got a 333 and on and off worcester has been trying to improve and he's been really going at it now um and i think his goal times a 331 in the end so because he actually has had a 331 paced run into red and then it died but he's had he's had a few good ones get to red and i'm pretty sure this is actually the worst of the bunch that has made it to red and this is the one that pbs oh. as it always tends to be so yeah i mean if you're trying to kill her in earlier on it because of bad luck. Yeah. Somebody's get sparked and send that. But it makes it all the better whenever it refuses to die. And it just goes all the way. Like that's it's it, in a way it's like the biggest <laughs> you know, kick in the arse, but Yeah. Hey, if it works, it works. Hey, that's plenty of time safer later though, when you're trying to do the <laughs> Time wrong. safe for next roll. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, moving on from Worcester's hard goals to silver any percent glitchless run, Ringo today got the um, the Japanese any percent glitchless record. And I'm sorry, Ringo, I've highlighted the optional that you hit. Um, but Ringo came to this seemingly out of the blue and got two BBs like back to back pretty much, uh, like two days in a row. They were both really, really solid runs. 
And as you can see by a start there, um, it's a really, really, really good start uh, to be that far ahead because, I mean, I'm sure as most of you know that have seen Heart Gold to Silver, once you get Raikou, there's not very much variance until blue. So basically you're, you're racking up your early game time save and then your goal is just don't lose time until about blue, which is where all the fight variants can come up. So to be that far ahead so early on is really, really good. And unfortunately, because that spinner, he fell behind. Um, but throughout this run, after the Chuck split, he was like plus 14. And I don't think he deviated more than like plus 11 throughout the rest of the run. Like the rest of this was so consistent. He was just saving like a second here, losing maybe a second there. Like it's so, so consistent that he played pretty much identically to his previous PB even up to the blue split and then he just got a, a better red fight and um took the record from dexy by like five seconds i think which is insane to see in such uh little time yeah. uh and also to note uh the voltorb flip right does not exist in japanese because voltorb flip doesn't exist on the japanese copy of hard gold to silver they have slots instead uh which is way 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 slower so <laughs> this is the uh quote unquote old right Wait, that's so, that's actually different. I ne yeah, I never uh, there, there's actually there. I mean, I'm pretty sure on most of them there's a difference in the game corner, and especially a lot of the the later games. But it's just none of them ever use it, and like I'm pretty sure it doesn't even exist in Gen Five. I'm almost certain a game corner doesn't exist. So, it, it's cool to see that um, that difference actually makes a a difference in a speedrun, which is not something you would expect. A Voltorb flip to matter. Let me moving on to war tab or war tab. Uh, yeah, so this is second month in a row we're highlighting a second place run from war tab in Pokemon X. Um, this run was, I think it's like a nine second improvement if I'm not right, if I'm not mistaken, um, and a few seconds off of world record. Um, this run was incredibly good uh, up until the Clement split, which is the the fifth gym leader. Um, and then at that point, you know, the RNG sort of started to turn. It actually wasn't too, too bad. He was still significantly ahead going into, uh, I think it's the last gym leader, um, Wolfric and ended up, I think, missing a rock tomb and having some other stuff happen that just sort of cost him a ton of time there. Um, and then, you know, ended up playing mostly with pb um from then to the end but unfortunately just was a little bit behind um got another Firo encounter the the story of last time was uh in victory road he got the the sky drop Firo encounter which cost him 17 seconds and he was only 16 seconds away from world record or something like that um he got it again was able to avoid it but by avoiding it it wastes you know time because you have to essentially reload the area so um you can yeah you can see there lost a significant amount of time was still ahead um i guess i sort of misremembered the the elite four there but yeah it's uh i think he got a rock smash encounter in victory road too if i'm not mistaken uh like all lots all of crap happened right at the end there <laughs> yeah it's like all in it's, it's all in the description yeah it got a rock smash encounter in victory road and the bird encounter apparently Whatever yeah. that means. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. He, no, yeah, he, he was able to avoid the encounter. Basically, it's one of those encounters where you see, like, a shadow. Um, and so if you go into the shadow, then you end up getting the encounter. He was able to, like, see that there was the shadow and go back. But, like, it takes time. He had to wait for a spinner, reload the area. Uh, so it's technically faster than just taking the encounter, but it's, you know, it's still time loss. It's still easily ten or more seconds there, so yeah, he's uh putting in putting in a lot of time in this game. It'll probably fall by the next month, but not quite yet. Um, other thing that's worth mentioning with this run is um he was second place before, but there is the the one not on the leaderboard run that has uh he has now surpassed that, so he's in true second place. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 
Um, all right, so moving on from 3DS, um, we actually have a Let's Go Pikachu world record here by Kerbis. Um, this run was very good um, start. Uh, says that, you know, Kerbis had one of the best, or the best Blaine split he's ever had. Um, I know a few runners have been getting really, really good Blaine splits. Uh, Blaine is usually the, the good test of the run because that's where the the run switches from i have to catch stuff to like a normal pokemon run um so your time ahead or behind at blaine is usually like consistent if that makes sense um but yeah and then he ended up when he main switched to starmie starmie was not very good and it definitely cost him a bunch of time um you can see by his splits he's still on 301 pace um here at koga but it just sort of Starts to fall apart a little bit. I know he missed the range on Kangaskhan and Victory Road. Um, probably had to do a, a safer version of Lorelei, which wastes a little bit of time. And uh, same thing, Pikachu has a slower champion when you have bad stats. So, so it's uh, unfortunate to see, but it's it's good that he got the record. But it's unfortunate to see the the sort of end game time loss like that. And then this run here is the new Let's Go Eevee world record. So this beat my old world record from back in 2019. Um, this is Etchy with a 30204. So four second improvement over the record. Um, this run was an interesting run. So it wasn't a very good start, um, but then he had one of the best mid games um, in terms of like, the mid-game catches, I should say, um, which w enabled them to be, you know, significantly ahead coming out of Rock Tunnel. Um, decent luck through Hideout and Tower, finished up the, the catches uh, pretty far ahead. And then similar story to Kerbis had very bad, very, very bad Starmie. Um, it was zero IV special defense, which matters on these last two fights that we're highlighting here as well as um, one IV special attack. So uh, definitely lost some time there. He actually lost a bit of time going for a safer version of Lance where you use an extra X defense. So that way, if you miss the range on Dragonite, you can survive a hit by, from Outrage. But uh, his health just didn't cooperate. And so the X defense basically ended up being useless because he was at half health anyways. Um, going into the Dragonite, but he hit the 8 and 16 range, so um, definitely cool to see. It would have been 301 with better special defense. Um, he had to double heal here on Champion, which cost him that, but um, the 301 will hopefully fall pretty soon from either him or any of the other runners. There's a lot of activity. Even after Blitz, there's a lot of activity in the game, so it'll happen. Only Either, both of these managed to do it like a week and a half ago <laughs> yeah uh both of these yeah that's worth mentioning so blitz the barrier blitz event was two weeks ago um two weeks ago today actually and both of these runs are since then <laughs> so yeah it'll happen happen and yeah it'll be it'll be it'll be scenes it'll be scenes when it happens that's me what, what's going to happen is going to be the typical thing that happens where it's like, it's going to take us all this time to get a 301. Someone's going to get a 301 and then like later that day or the next day, there's going to be another 301 and then a week later, there's another one. But we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, once the first one happens, it, it, it's, it'll it have to tumble, surely. Just, yeah. Just what, it's been you, Etchy, Jim. Has anyone else? I guess um, Kirby's on the Pika side. Um, Kerbis on Pika. I don't know if Saiyan is still playing, but Saiyan was getting close. Um, Jay Ash, if he decides to pick it up again, can be, you know, right up there. So there's a lot of... And Headstrong was on a really good run, too. Um, recently, that was... I think it was ahead of my, my 302 at Blaine. So it's... Really, anybody could do it. Yeah. So, moving on to... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky Any% Wonder Mail DS slash 3DS English World Record here by Shady Gamer. Uh 458.58. Like apparently the early game was not great and 
kind of highlighted by the back-to-back -back monster houses, which I found hilarious when I found that found out about that. Just playing casually, that's a nightmare to deal with, so getting back to back. Um but yeah. It's like just an amazing late game from the sounds of it. Just managed to bring about his like goal splits in all of chapter nineteen. Uh and then followed by like the rest of the end uh, the end game being great. Just sneaking under to get a sub five. I can imagine though that they'll probably want to be this time. But what they did do instead is go on to Gates of Infinity. Uh, and you percent send Wonder Mail 3DS slash new 3DS English with uh, another world record, a 731.54. Uh, not much to really know about this other than they can, like, pre pretty much taken from Shady Gamers, like the description. Bad start, especially with missions, but a great end game again. Seems to be like a common thread, I guess, maybe with PMD runs. I feel like I've heard that. Happen, like I've heard that with like oh I've seen that being said about a lot of the other world record runs from previous months. But yeah, got a little PMT session over and onto on the special guest talking about their own world record in any percent for Poker Part We. All yeah. right, so the um <clears throat> the start of this was amazing. I got a 519 tutorial, which is the fastest tutorial I've ever gotten, and I think is ever gotten in speedrunning for this game in general um the tutorial uh you have to basically chase or tag chada and he can either go left or right and it's like a three-fourths chance he goes right and if he does you lose a second he went left this time and since i had like pretty much perfect mashing i got a 519 i um the metal zone even though i only lost a second on there i didn't have great luck the pokemon spawns were uh they were pretty bad i just didn't make a single mistake and my mashing was great iceberg zone again really good mashing mashing is really important in this and i ha had good item pickups cavern zone uh this is the best part of the run basically best ever cavern zone i gold this by above 30 seconds and the RNG was really great. There's never ever good RNG in Cameron Zone. There's so many things that can go wrong here. I had a perfect Aeron, perfect Mawile, and I had good Torchic and Raichu. And the route I did, or the route I, the new route I use, um, we have a backup to Torchic because originally, if we don't have a back, we usually don't have a backup to Torchic, and we just have to end the run because sometimes Torchic just runs away and you just lose the run. But the new route I used, I had a backup. Luckily, I didn't have to use it, but I almost did. Almost. But um, I nailed the item slide, which is coming up right here. It's really hard to do if you don't hug the wall correctly. Like, you have to hug the wall and not hug the wall. Hug the wall and not hug the wall. And if you don't do it correctly enough, you just lose time. I nailed this. And the mini game, which is about an extra five minutes in. um, Perfect. Literally perfect. Uh, the goal is basically just hitting the ball into uh, into the points in the corner of the wall, basically over and over again, just so you don't waste time. Because if let's just say the ball, the point values are stacking up elsewhere, well, you're losing time. But I made sure the ball stacked up in the same spot every time. I tried <laughs> at least. Um, but then it all spiraled down the lava zone. Uh, the run, I wasn't actually looking at my timer for the first half of the run because uh, the previous world record holder didn't do that. So I figured, hey, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I looked at my pace. I was saving 30 seconds. I freaked out and I lost like 10 seconds of lava for extremely beginner mistakes. Uh, I just missed uh, text boxes. I failed some fights. Just really bad mistakes overall. And I lost 10 seconds. A uh, haunted zone. I'm just really nothing to say about that. Haunted zone, though. I, from here on, I played out of my mind. I pretty much played perfectly. This is one of the most tech-heavy parts of the run, where you have to time your dashes every every like two seconds. You have to time a dash in order to maximize your speed. I only missed that once. Uh, my corners. I implemented something called uh. <laughs> dash cancel short hops which you have to like slide your thumb down and upwards on the d-pad and it, it's the difficulty varies on whether what remote you have uh some some d-pads are sensitive and some aren't so it can 
So the Wiimote I use, it's hard to do those, but it's easier to mash on. So that's why I use that Wii Remote. Um, but I actually got it and I pretty much saved like two seconds just on corners in general because I canceled my dash. That's <laughs> it's as easy as that. But I played pretty much perfectly. And the only reason I lost time here was because I didn't get an Electrode spawn. And the thing about Electrode is um, he's a free friend. You just talk to him and you friend him. And if he's, he barely spawns in. He, it's like a t basically a 10% chance he spawns in. And in my previous PB run, he'd spawned in for me. He didn't this time, so I lost... I lost only like two seconds. But that still sucks. If I got Electrode, I would have been like saving 30 seconds. Granite Zone, uh, I played perfectly again. I don't actually know what time loss I had here. Genuinely don't. <laughs> I really don't. Um, I maybe hit a wall or something. Um, I know my menuing was pretty slow than that. But other than that, yeah, right there, um, my dash got canceled randomly. It, the game does that for no reason. It did that three times in the zone. I lost a second each time it did that. I think that's actually the only reason I lost time, though. Flower zone. Oh, this was the biggest strategy. Oh, my God. All right. So. Oh, <laughs> here's another part. Hit Arcanine. He was just in the way. This was a huge tragedy. So there's this Blossom spawn. You have to talk to Blossom. And essentially, uh, it's the spawns are completely random. There's a huge area which Blossom can spawn in, and you have to talk to her and grab a watering can, and you pick up the watering can to water a flower, but I got the absolute worst possible spawn. Yeah. I go back like 10 seconds, seer, and there we go. So I'm looking around, I've realized, shoot, Blossom's all the way in the corner here. I hit a Pokemon, which lost me like two seconds, then I had to jump around the Pokemon, then I had to walk all the way to the flower. This costed almost more, probably more than 10 seconds. And this was just RNG. <laughs> this was just purely RNG. If I had a better Blossom spawn, I would be saving like 25 to 30 seconds on this split. But that was not the case, and I was only saving 13. Um, But the Mew split, though, I almost choked it, but I clutched it out basically the new route i made uh you know it basically is faster but you do less damage to the pokemon you fight because when you max them when you max out your dash you do one and a half damage but when you don't max out your dash you only do one damage and i it makes the fight slower but i accidentally messed up the tyranitar fight in that i almost lost it i misinputted and i thunderbolted I didn't, I missed the Thunderbolt, and the AI messed up. The AI was supposed to hit me on Tyranitar, and he missed. Yeah, right here, I missed it. The Ty Tyranitar AI messed up. He stood there just standing. He could have literally just killed me right there, and he didn't. So I got incredibly lucky right there. I lost about three seconds just from that segment right there, <laughs> which is really sad. But that is basically the summary of the run incredibly really good start even though it looks like my beach zone was bad uh, i went off route a little bit and i got an extra pokemon which later would save time in iceberg clearly from there which is the 13 second time save uh lava zone was probably the worst zone really terrible mistakes from there and it and i played incredibly well from the rest of the run but rng really <laughs> was not was not uh <laughs> was not on my side uh, so we can. Oh, I was just gonna yeah. say you mentioned that there's a new route. Like, is it is it just related to not maxing out your dash, or is it? Is it something uh, else in there? Yeah, there's it's that and one more thing. So my goal for the new route was to find um, a more consistent route that was faster, and this accomplishes both. The original route we had, well, you got out of uh, Meadow Zone pretty much consistently. Beach Zone, you were constantly, constantly resetting there. And my goal was, okay, how do I prevent uh, the beach zone resets? Because that happens constantly. So I skipped Apom and Meadow Zone because Apom was just slow. And I was like, okay, so I can just Im implement hide and seek Pokemon. Because everyone was trying to avoid hide and seek Pokemon because people thought they were slower than all the other ones. And while they were, if you got, if you high rolled for the best hide and seek spawns, because there was about three different hide and seek spawns for every Pokemon you talk to. 
Um, if you got the best one, you saved like three seconds. And I didn't even get the best one for this, but I still saved time on here. But the goal is basically just hide and seek uh, friending about like four extra Pokemon and replacing four different Pokemon from the original route. And if you high rolled and got the correct uh, hiding spot, you basically saved like 20 seconds. That didn't apply. That didn't happen here. I think I got one good hide and seek spawn. I guess I just balanced out the other bad ones. Um, and the max dash skip, basically you get like four dash upgrades and I skipped uh, the last one. And the reason is because the cutscene is about 25 seconds long. And the third dash upgrade you get is the one I was talking about earlier where you have to time your dashes. That's the same exact speed as the max maximum dash upgrade. It's just harder. So I was figuring, I was like, okay, it's only 25 seconds. You're, you're losing 25 seconds and it's the basically the same amount of speed. Why would I get it? And... You do lose time because you do less damage in battles, but I was like, okay, I mean, I'm still saving like 10 seconds. So that's, that's where the new route was, and it works beautifully. I'm resetting, I was resetting less because of this run. Um, uh, the only times I reset was in uh, Love Zone, which was the drill. And the drill, oh my god, the drill, basically, you you have a 1 in 5 chance of resetting your run, basically. So you hit a drill and you mine up like iron or gold ore. And you have a 1 in 5 chance of getting a gold ore. Gold ore, completely useless for any percent. And if you roll gold ore, you have to hit the drill again and reset, retry, and get it iron ore. This is completely out of your hands. It's ba It literally is just a 1 in 5 chance of resetting your run. It sucks. I got lucky. I got two iron ores. So that's usually the part where you reset the run. That's something we cannot change ever in the route. That's something that's mandatory to beat the game. I want to try to find a glitch to skip it, but we can't. But essentially, that's just a summary of the run. Incredibly good, or incredibly good start and end. Really bad mid-game, but I clutched it out. And congrats. To be fair, like any time that I have like all these like uh, poke park runs, they've got like world record or PBs or even marathon runs. I'll always just show that um, like the mine bit. Because there's also the Torkoals there, and I just find it hilarious when people normally get hit. <laughs> it's, it's more, I'll always like, because like, I, I like to pick like the the more funny, or the more embarrassing parts, I guess. Which I guess, to be fair, you can't really be embarrassed about like if you can't control it, but it's still funny. Yeah, <laughs> I think that ha that happened in my previous PB, where I got hit by a Torkoal, and for some reason, people thought the run was just dead when you got hit by a Torkoal. I don't know why, people just thought the run was dead. Um, all you have to do is, if the Torkoal hits you, you hit them back. That's all you have to do. <laughs> and then you can just continue on. I mean, yeah, it's like a six, seven second time loss. But people thought <laughs> people thought the run was dead after getting hit by the Torkoal, and it's hilarious. Yeah, I um, will say this is not your only Poker Park we world record even this month. Though, yes. You've got the old friends. Also, I should say quickly, uh, to point out, uh, it's just started like thundering and lightning where I am. So if stream does cut out and if you can hear thunder in the background, that is why. <laughs> <laughs> so just throwing that out there. But yeah, sorry, go on. All right. So All Friends is a six and a half hour long run. It's a very, very tedious run. It's kind of similar to any percent where you're just trying to beat the game as fast as possible. But uh, it's basically the 100% equivalent to our game so we basically friend every single pokemon which is 193 that's a lot of pokemon but the last 12 pokemon are legendaries and in order to friend all your legendaries you have to beat every mini game with every pokemon and get the bonus now there's 12 mini games and you have to beat it with like 20 different pokemon so you're playing each mini game 20 times and then moving on to the next one and some mini games are free you basically never lose them but the later ones, I lost, even just messing up once, you lose a minute. It's incredibly difficult to stay consistent with the mini games. Um, and I almost got it, but I messed up uh, two of them. It's probably the, I, the mi only mini game I messed up on, and I messed up on it twice, lost a minute and a half to it. And a mini game in Haunted Zone. And the only reason I lost that Haunted Zone mini game is because my sensor bar, <laughs> my sensor bar stopped working. So I had to like pause and my sensor was glitching out and I lost time because of that. 
is... But if we're going to talk... Oh, yeah, Sorry, go on. I was going to say, is that the mini game where it's like all the, the like haunters and ghastlies that come at you? Is it that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that seems like a nightmare from what I've seen. <laughs> Um, but yeah, sorry, go on. So the run itself, all these time saves, I, I don't know where they came from. <laughs> I'm completely honest. It's just um, consistency sake, I guess. Since I'm like so consistent at this game, um, and since I, nothing really stupid happened, I was just accumulating time save because, again, you're friending 193 Pokemon. Something stupid's bound to happen. It didn't happen. Nothing dumb happened besides just like the sensor bar glitching out. Um, and I got gold ore first try. This is the this is the category we do want gold ore first try, and it is only a one in five chance. Um, and that's where most of the time loss is for people and all friends if you don't get the gold ore. And I got it first try, and I lost a minute on that split. I don't know how. I even implemented like um, multitasking, which is something we people don't do, where you hit the drill, let the cutscene play, friend other Pokemon, then pick up the iron ore, talk to other Pokemon. I still lost time on that split. I don't know why. I think probably because I skipped a Pokemon from my previous run. But I guess to sum up this run, it's very solid and very consistent. And besides uh, me missing, messing up a few mini games, I played really well. And some, some, <laughs> quite a few movement mistakes. But it's a six-hour run, so it just kind of, kind of makes up for it. Yeah. Uh, as well, just like because. It... I guess if I'm going to kind of segue into the next run, it's not the only old friends Poker Park type world record, because in the sequel, Poker Park Wonders Beyond, uh, there was another world record uh, for old friends. I don't know, how like how familiar are you with this run? I know you've said you were playing through this uh, like, um, game casually, I'm, so... I'm more familiar with it than other speedruns. I, I, I'm slightly familiar with it from like talks with the uh, creed and stuff so i could probably go over a little bit um so he creed has been developing a new route for this since no there's not really any people running uh park to all friends it wasn't really a good optimal route um in the game you can pick between like four different pokemon to play and there's snivy which is like the fastest pokemon they run incredibly fast uh and he was developing a route around snivy because there was no route originally made for Snivy, and because of this, he was just chopping off time over and over again. I mean, I think of this world record, this I think he chopped off like an extra like five minutes or something, I th and I th it definitely is going to go down to uh, sub sub six. But um, the RNG in this game is really bad. Like the chases, the mini games, the battles—they're all easy, but the items are what really <laughs> sets it apart. Um, you need like items to get every friend and complete the challenges and stuff like that. Um, and some items just don't spawn and they don't. And during my casual playthrough, I actually I, I somehow got uh, all these rare items just on my first try. All uh, it was really funny, but in in the speed run, you you have to like constantly refresh the zones and re-enter. Basically, you're grinding for items because you can't get them. They they have such rare spawns. And he got really lucky. I think he got like second try Melody Box, which is unheard of. Melody Box like never spawns in. So he saved um, quite a bit of time on that. Because he just didn't get screwed by it. And then there's Dew Drops, which are like a 1 in 10. I think he got that second try too. He basically got like everything second or third try for RNG items, which is amazing. And I don't... He didn't... I don't think he played as amazing as he did on his previous run, but since this... Just because of the new reroute, it just chopped off time. And that's all I can really input into the Spark 2 run. <laughs> uh, uh, are you looking to run this and that's why you're playing this casually? Or are you just playing casually to... Yeah, I'm going to run this. I'm, I'm going to uh, try to get... I'm, I'm going to try to get world record in this. <laughs> I mean, fair play. I mean, if you've got like, the world records in the first games, I can definitely see why you want to look at the second and be like... Like, just, you're eyeing it up. Yeah, so, Poker Park section, I guess over, no more, well, actually, I think there was, there was a marathon run. Anyway, uh, for noted runs though, there is now over, we move on to the new snap, with uh, Martin scores easy, uh, new snap world record of 232.44, uh, apparently didn't manage to get uh, cutscene skip in this as well, so that's uh, 
I'm gonna put say quote unquote easy time save. You still gotta get all the good luck prior to that. But and there was also an issue with wishy washy. Um, but uh, last month uh, we had CC uh, on well, we had a recording like a record interview with CC. And he mentioned that the world record it would he was thinking it'd be around the two thirty mark where it'll eventually settle because with this being a kind of effectively on rails, there's not. There's definitely that other limit, so it's it's getting a lot closer now, which is interesting. There's also another run by uh, Coralio, a Japanese runner, that I think was quicker than this, but it it was on the board and then it got removed. I don't know what happened. So this is just the world record for now, as far as I'm concerned. Then last noted run, uh, Iron is currently camping, I believe. I think that's what he said. So that's why he's not here for yep. the podcast. So for for the uh, for the fan game section, uh, one world record with uh, Jim Freak's Blue Kaizo 80% no save corruption. Um, seven minutes fifty two seconds. It was a new route made by Gifx, uh, yep. and it's a three turn rival uh, with paralysis that happened in the run. Also forgot to do correct movement, so and then I uh, forgot to do correct move and movement after pass one bombed. It was in the cleanest run, apparently. So I don't know if uh, Jim's going to look to get uh, will, like push the time down further or if they're if they're still focusing on uh, let's go. But either way, very good time, well done, nonetheless. And moving on to the marathon runs now. So, the first run to actually mention, whilst I play this in the background, uh, Conception to uh, at Too Fast, Too Fast, Too Fast uh, had a solid Tarot Two Fist get a Shifu run, which is like an hour 42 27. Um, there's no highlight of it, so I can't show it. I don't know what happened in the run either, but it seemed like there was a, probably a fair bit of bad luck. Not the, not the greatest time, but it's also one of those categories where you can spend a year looking for blissies. So probably something down to that. And I just pass this over to Etiquette because uh Candy Foss you you Candy Foss you. <laughs> uh yeah, so this is um Rafael Cuero, I guess. I think it, I think um, it's Rafael Cuero, yeah. Okay. I apologize if I pronounced that wrong. Um and this is Sword and Shield, I uh, probably sword. Um Candy Floss run uh, in 424.48. Uh, cool thing about this run was this was 25 seconds off of their PB, so that is um, pretty exciting. This is um, Marathon de Pokemon Hispano. So that's, I'm assuming, the uh, Spanish Pokemon Marathon. So um, we had a few runs there, and yeah, this is the, this is the first one here so yeah. it's exciting to see like a, a whole event like this yeah and just with the i was doing the marathon sessions especially when there's like a entire marathon dedicated to pokemon not gonna show let's like, gonna have the one play in the background mm -hmm. uh, similar as to how we did last month so uh just call me geo uh with poker park we any percent actually managed to get a 237.1 uh i mean i don't know like, I don't know if you know anything about the room, but just based off the time. You know, like a um, solid time? I'm, I'm pretty sure he had like decent luck. I think he just I think he just like messed up on some of the obstacle parts, I think quite a bit, and that loses like ten seconds or fifteen seconds every time you like fall yeah. off, and I think he fell off quite a bit of time. I think that's where all his time loss came from though. It, yeah, it's not like a like cause I don't know with marathon runs, is that like Yeah. Oh it's all marathon? Alright, good, good. Always nice to hear. And then finally, Paltha with Crystal Beat Lance. The 308.23. I don't think any of us know about Crystal, do we? But I'm gonna, I think that's that seems like a, a, a solid time. I, I that's an alright time, yeah. Yeah. Like, Beat Lance, I know it was a bit controversial. It's honestly not not that bad for a marathon just because it's a it's a little bit shorter you cut out the 40 or however many mi minutes kanto is so yeah probably a lot easier to schedule in yeah exactly 
good time for that to start buffering. Uh, <laughs> when it comes, and uh, then like another marathon that popped up, Questing for Glory Four, Cruel with Red No Center No Mart, uh, two fifty two thirty four. Just a bit overestimate from the looks of things. I believe he's done this run, uh, like a few marathons recently. So yeah, yeah, he, he's done done this in in red as well as some other games recently. Uh, interesting yeah. challenge. It, it's kind of brutal in this game because I don't think that there are any. Maybe there may be a couple, but there's like no repels to pick up, so you have to basically because you can't buy them. Yeah, you know it's really easy to just get ruined by encounters. Oh, that sounds rough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's one. It's also one of those runs where you, I don't think you can. I don't think you can even do this in Sword Shield, can you? Unless you take out of account the ones that you're forced to go into, really. Yeah, you would probably just be like, you can enter to progress the story, but don't like do yeah. anything. Yeah. Rules is a lot of cool runs. <laughs> it's just a lot of runs in general, to be fair, as well. But... <laughs> So, then in two, I think this was actually it. Okay, yeah, speedruns Espanol, so I think it is another, just another Spanish marathon. But, um, Marathon SRE, I think this was just the benefit, speedruns Espanol, to like funding it. Uh, Nyaki with red 80%, 3 minutes 55 seconds. I assume there was just like a fair bit of unfortunate luck. Again, yeah, it's uh... a very, very short category. Yeah, you, you have to hard reset on a certain frame to save corrupt and everything. So that's, you know, the the top times for the category are like in the one twenty one minute twenty second range. But like three minutes in a marathon, that's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot of save reset. Oh, it didn't work. Save reset. Oh, it didn't work. So <laughs> find out by CPP four frame window. Four Still frame. very ridiculously tight to try and hit. Yeah. But, yeah, very cool. And I get following on with uh with red runs, I guess. So uh, for like conception two again, red any percent, uh glitchless. I think he said red any percent in the uh what do you want to call it in the schedule. That's me being dumb once again. But anyway, uh for Thunderthorn uh twenty twenty one, two oh two thirty four. And seems close to the estimate. Seems like a solid run overall. But if like, have, have you done? Uh, I assume you you you've taken part in the red race, haven't you? Or the red uh, tournament? Yeah, yeah. Two hundred two is two hundred two is definitely not a bad time. Um, judging by the estimate of being two hundred five, probably some stuff went wrong. Um, but still, you know, completing a run is always good. <laughs> yeah. And then finally, uh, another Pokemon marathon as a whole, uh, Pride and Poltergeist, uh, which was organized by the uh, ESR Diversity uh, stream team, which I, they're not actually affiliated with this, but anyway, uh, there's just like a group of people from the Pokemon Speedrunning community that uh, uh, like either don't just Diverse, I guess, for lack of a term. Diverse and allies, I think, effectively, is the term. Or oh, something along the lines that I'm terrible with remembering things. But either way, it was a full Pokemon marathon. Uh, there was Shell's side with Fire Red, any percent. Today, 2-24-29 uh, is one of the highlights. Gym Freak with Lord Tower of Two Fists, which is this run. Uh, don't get Urshifu, which I don't think's actually ever been shown at a marathon specifically. Unless, did you do one, actually, Edicott? No, I'm thinking about no. it. No, no, oh. I only did the one run just to get the leaderboard. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, with a one twenty, one twenty five. Pretty solid time. There was a bit of bad luck with Clara, I believe. Uh, Clara three. That'll happen. <laughs> yeah, it, it will always happen. Uh, and then like, another highlight, at least that I picked. Maybe it's my sword shield bias. But Etchy versus uh, Copper May versus Great Ice Vixen with a Sword Trade Alt Main race. Uh, it was Etchy with Mimikyu, uh, May with Sylveon, and then Greta with Rapidash. And it was actually PB for Greta, uh, 429.45. 
I actually ended up winning with a 4-12-14 and then May came in second with a 4-21-02. But I think all of them are very solid runs for their trade alt mains. Mm -hmm. um, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, and that's everything. That's, that's all the marathons that have been this month. And in fact, coming up uh, next, obviously, is the the big ones. Uh, well, oh. there's actually quite a few big ones, yeah. Uh, to be fair. So, trying to find the right date. But, uh, if you want to. Yeah, so uh, this is Summer Games Done Quick. The event itself actually starts tomorrow. Um, but we won't have Pokemon until a little bit later in the marathon. Um, so. First one is going to be uh, Pokemon Black versus White Race, um, a race between Swiftaloo and Pulse Effects. Um, they're actually going to be doing not only Black versus White, but they're also going to be doing um, different routes. So Pulse is going to be doing the Sock route, and Swift is going to be doing the Lillipup route. So uh, it'll be definitely really exciting to see. That one is, um, looks like Friday... Friday middle of the night for uh, EU, yeah. Sort of, sort of the prime time slot for like East Coast US or you know dinner time for Pacific Coast, but um, mm -hmm. it should be a pretty good, pretty good race there. Um, and then on Saturday, uh, final day of the event, we have Amoeba doing Emerald Any Percent Glitchless, um, so that's going to be midday or midday for EU, morning for uh, US, and that is. Uh, definitely exciting to see uh, Amoeba taking part in the marathon. It's also been a little bit, I think it's been like four and a half years since Emerald was in the event. Um, and like the base of the route is the same as it was back then, but there's a lot of different, you know, optimizations. And I think like the whole Abra stuff, Chain Manip, all that kind of stuff wasn't around back then. So um, it'll be really cool to see that in such a such a big marathon. Yeah, especially for Amoeba, who's been grinding this game. Oh, absolutely. Cool. And also, just, I guess before, well, I guess to be fair, Paul said so something as he's been on uh, more of a Nuzlocke there. But mm -hmm. Swift, I believe, has also been like grinding Black, and it is, it's like her favorite game as well. So that's also cool when you yeah, play your favorite games in runs. Oh, yeah, Swift does like a run every like day. She, she's yeah. been grinding that so hard. Uh, just very quick because I don't know too much of the other schedule. Is there any other runs to look out of? Not doesn't have to be obviously not Pokemon at this point. I see Mario 64, 70 star blindfold, and that sounds cool. <laughs> but anyone uh, happen to know this rest of the schedule? Anything cool that you're looking out for? Um, not not about SDGQ, but um, I know the Midwest Speed Speed Fest schedule is going to be released today. Um, I actually submitted to that too, so. I don't know if I'm gonna accept it or not, but yeah, Dang. it's being. I think it's being shown uh, seven seven o'clock p.m. EST maybe. But uh, I did submit to that Pokey Park run, of course. Yeah. But but um, I live like twenty minutes away from the venue, so I think I have a decent chance of being selected. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Did you submit anything for that? It's okay, because I was I did not. That area. No, no, I'm I'm more East Coast, so I don't. Um, it's a it's a bit of a ways away from me. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I know there's quite a few other people I've submitted, so good luck to everyone. Hopefully they can get their runs in. I hope you get your run in as well. Um, but next big uh, pretty big marathon on, especially on the Australian side, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Australian speed ring marathon. Uh, first run. Oh, like the first Pokemon run. JT Magic Man versus Worcester. In heart gold, any percent manipulus. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know if there's like different routes for this. Like, there is for uh, black and white. There's still that will be cool. And then on the eight, oh, I should say that's at uh, five to. Oh, yeah. Let me double check because I saw it. Yeah, five to eleven uh, at night in the UK, and then earlier on around like again maybe a bit before dinner or tea however you want to call it for like east coast and then well we're back from there <laughs> i guess or work forward depending where you are um and then there's also on the 18th just after midnight in the uk uh pokemon snap 100 by thumb 
a 35 minute estimate, which seems ridiculous for 100% in my mind. But 35 uh, minutes, 100%? What? Yeah. Yeah, the 100% run is not that much longer than the any percent run, if I'm not mistaken. It's only a few minutes. I don't know what kind of, like, you know, RNGs involved or anything like that that might go wrong in a marathon, but yeah, the runs themselves aren't that much. Uh, this is the original snap. This is not the new snap. Just. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's um, Pokemon. Oh, that's going to be a <laughs> distinction we have to make every time, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's, um, the, the, the two world records are about three minutes apart, so. All right. And then last, but definitely not uh, not least for the marathons that have been announced so far. Uh, ESA Summer 2021. Uh, actually on the 28th at just after half one in the morning for me. So, actually, what day is the 28th? 20, okay, yeah, I can't watch. I probably won't be able to watch that. <laughs> uh, I'll have work in the morning, but... For the American audience or anyone who likes to stay up late in the UK, Pokemon Diamond, any percent glitchless. Uh, should be a very great run. And I, I actually was on Hotfix yesterday with uh, Platinum, and like he mm -hmm. absolutely killed it. And there'll be something similar here again, I imagine. And then also on the 29th at 10 past 4 in the morning, which is an even worse time, uh, for, at least for me. Uh, I scrolled straight past it. Uh, Shiru with uh, Fire Red Leaf Green E4 Round 2. They've given Shiru not the best time there. <laughs> At least for like trying to wake up. With, like with Shiru being based in uh, Catalonia. I think it'll be like 10 past 5 in the morning. But still, Shiru with the marathon run there. That'll be another not great run. Oh, yeah, for sure. Not that early, but Shiro is a, sort of a morning streamer, at least for me. Oh wait, no, this is this is with your time zone. Never mind. Oh yeah, this is my time. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say he's usually on at like seven in the morning for me, but yeah, no, that's yeah, that's five right. hour difference or whatever it is. Yeah, I, I guess it'd be six. Uh, the the Shiro's time zone. Yeah, that's all the marathons. That have been announced so far. Again, Midwest Speed, uh, Midwest Speed Fest will be apparently announcing their schedule today, which I didn't know. Yeah, and I the, know the I'm... event. Oh, go ahead. Well, I know they. There's every single Pokemon game I think is actually like was submitted there. Like almost every single Pokemon game was submitted. It was nuts. There's, I don't know what it was. There's like 63 different Pokemon runs that were submitted, and they like chose almost a lot of them. So it's me. There's gonna be a lot of Pokemon runs there. I'll say that. Yeah, I. Yeah. As far as I'm aware, there's like a, I, there's a group that have been like organizing. Just at least, from what I've seen, but I don't know how widespread that is. In terms of like who's going and the whatnot. Mm -hmm. Still though, seems like it's gonna be cool because it's also it's also an in, it's an in-person event. Which, yep. Yeah. This, it's, it's not the first one because I remember there was like a French marathon or something. That we showed with Etienne. I think it'll uh, be the first one in the States. Yeah, I might, yeah, first yep, one in the States, yep. which is pretty big, I think. But yeah. All the marathon yeah. runes that have been announced as of right now. And we're on to the leaderboard roundup. So, 18th place with a 147.24 by Digi Magic E. Well done to them. And then, all right, that's also a uh, Slayer with the unchanged. Oh, well, not unchanged. Never tried to change it on SLC anyway. But as well, so Slayer with a one forty eight thirty seven. Very very good time. Um, I think for like other, like because there's been, I like, I know there's a lot of runs coming up when it gets like towards Let's Go. Uh, mm -hmm. who's right. Yeah, stage in fourth place. For, oh, well, eleventh on emulator, but fourth place for on console for Canadian major with a one thirty five thirty two. Then Smiley's I recognize from like the X, XD and Colo. I think he's the XD world record any oh, any percent world record holder with a one forty, uh, making them nineteen. Just uh, if there's any like runs that like seem to stick out, feel free to uh, say. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of runs that. 
I will probably not fully understand the magnitude of it. Uh, tenth place, and like actually quite a few uh, pretty close by around for Ruby or for Sapphire, I guess. Uh, Blue Magma with a two hundred four fifty three uh, in tenth place. Kurt with a two hundred five flat in eleventh, and then in eighteenth and nineteenth include Emulator. Uh, good at being simple with a two ten eleven. Uh, Colosseum. Ooh, there's been. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I mean, uh, Shen submitted it after the previous podcast, so it's fine. Oh, that's a very, very good time by Shen. Three thirty three twenty six. Um, I think he's been playing it a lot. I think it's been driving him crazy. But you kind of have to be crazy to ruin Colo. Uh, also Zeke, I'll Zeke uh, with a 3-34-34, making them sick. And Randall, uh, Randall eats cheese with a 3-36-52. Fourth gen gamer actually as well with a 3-50-15. Like all of these runs, I guess maybe aside from that bottom one, that doesn't seem like the greatest time. But I don't know, I assume they probably did like Manipolis or something. Mm-hmm. Or it was very, 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 very bad luck. Which, to be fair, I would not play it past Colo. <laughs> I would not play it past Colo for that. But yeah. Um, no snags. World record? But... So, okay, it was submitted, like, late. Uh, and it was done before. So that's probably why I missed it. In fact... Oh, that was submitted today. That's probably also why I missed it. But Bolton with another world record in no snags, that's... Kind of part of the course, really. I think at this point, I think it'd be that'll have been beating his own world record by maybe like around a minute or something. Uh, let me just quickly pop that up. Uh, just having a quick skim through the run. Like, no snags is a very interesting run, uh, because as the name suggests, you can't snag anything. So, the normal 80% run, you'd snag either a Quilava or a uh. Crocodile, like crocodile. I would call it. No, not crocodile. 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 Uh, Gen, Gen 5 on the brain. Or maybe uh, Dynamite Adventures on the brain, more likely. Um, but yeah, so you can't snag anything, which means you're left with uh, your Espeon and your Umbreon. You also can't catch the Meditite that you use for like a tw- uh, to get an item from it. Uh, I think the only ad- additional Pokemon they'll get, I guess, would be the Puzzle that gets given to you. I don't know if that's used in the room for like a protect or uh, protect, like a uh, basically to sack. But yeah, it's a very, very interesting room. Like a, a ridiculously good time. Like three thirty-seven. That's I think eight minutes off the any percent world record, mm-hmm. which in a room like this is unbelievable. That's pretty good. Uh. Ooh, I don't know. I'm in fourth place on the emulator with a 20209 in Fire Red Leaf Green. Very solid run with a big choke on Champ being sold, which costs 201. All, all these people having their very unfortunate ends. To be fair, th- that seems a lot more common than like any other place I found, I feel like. Seems to be at the end. I, I don't know if that's just me with limited scope, but. Or limited knowledge. Either way, Sparkle Lantern with a uh, 10th place, uh, 13th with Emulator included with a 203.29. Tiolo Dolo in 22nd, uh, 31st with Emulator with a 207.46. And then Sheltisai with a 209.14, 35th on the Emulator leaderboard. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, uh, Pokemon Battle Revolution. Uh, name's not updated. Is uh, Are they still known as RDA or is it actually... A, do they prefer being called RD Gay now? I don't know. Um, I, mean, I don't know. That's their um, speedrun.com name, so that's fine. Yeah. But either way, it's uh, like RDA with a 335.30. Um... And I'm second for any percent round one in Pokemon Battle Revolution, which, with how much again, another one of those runs with a lot of RNG, a lot of things need to go right. 
finishing runs, especially that quickly, very, very impressive. Uh, again, Smiley's once again popping up with a 358.22. And like, like, I know that there might not be like, it's not as well run, I guess. Like not many people run it, but still impressive run based on like just the difference in time. You need a lot of things to go right. And like 358, it's a respectable time as far as I'm aware. Also, uh, RDA with uh, all battle passes round one, 53008. Goodent. Whatever, whatever that means. Uh, oh, Shadow Phoenix with any percent no wonder male English Wii U. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is Explorers of Sky world record uh, from May that I guess has just been verified recently or oh, within the last month. Uh, 518, 11, very good time. And I feel like I talked about this last month. I feel like I do remember talking about that last month. I'm not sure. Either way, secure account with a 51232 on the emulator leaderboard for that version. And then a couple of beat Dark Rai world records as well, which I didn't mention. I, I, th there is a lot of mystery dungeon characters. There's a lot. Yeah, they have like over 50, I swear. Yeah, and that's not even including the category extensions. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh no. <laughs> like, there's a reason why category extensions are not a part of this, and it's because it, it takes that long <laughs> to go through them. But it's still, it's great that there's like a lot of categories there, and like, I think a lot of them at least have one run or two runs. Also, I. I'm a moderator for Sword Trade Alt Main, or for Squish Trade Alt Mains. There's like 40 there. I don't think I can really say anything negative about <laughs> having a lot of categories. <laughs> uh, Pokemon Rumble, second on emulator, no passwords by Diego Armando and with a 4250. And then Diego Lazor, who I would like to just to throw this out there. Uh, ran a lot of the Spanish restream for Blitz. So, thank you for that, for managing all that. And that was it all. You and Go is Diego Lazor and Go Senpai. I think just runs the Spanish side of uh, speed gaming. But anyway, a uh, 1 hour, 2 minute, 59 second run there. So, well done to them. Well done to all the runners as well, of course. Even trying to. Because there's a lot of runs that happen. And it, like, skimming through, it's. Like, These just my descriptions ages long. <laughs> it's in detail. You know what? It was nice. It was nice. If you hadn't have uh, been able to come on, you gave me everything. <laughs> so I'd be able to at least give like a quicker version of it done. Uh, on a personal level, I like it when people put a lot of like a lot of stuff in. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Oh, ice tree. Uh, it's a missed category, so that's why I probably missed it. Oh, like we don't yeah. really put them on. The forty-nine forty. Uh, from the looks of it, it seems like twenty seconds at most. Do you think the first the category will go? For now, yeah. Um, well, the, the world records were like pa were just passing back and forth between me and Kiwi, and I actually quit Ice Tree for a while because you needed an insane amount of RNG for it. Mm. Until I thought, and then I just got way better at the game, and I didn't even get good RNG here, and I saved 20 seconds. I think I can be pushed down to uh, sub 49 at the most, like a 4950x. Oh. That's that's as far as it can go, but it probably won't go there. <laughs> yeah, it's it's <laughs> nice to think what's the furthest it can go, and what's the furthest will it actually go? Because it does get to a point I feel like where well, I think I think like sword probably like best example 1.2 yes technically uh be able to beat Ringo's 1.1 world record of 404 14 or 13 I think it is I think it's possible is it realistically viable not yeah. without ruining your hands I don't believe <laughs> or like the sub three in let's go yeah the sub three in let's go that's that yeah that's the prime example uh but yeah uh Black 2, White 2, um, Ed Head with a 3.36.02, making them 13th from last month. I, I always look at the run date way too late. But still, congrats. 
And then Cruel in 19th of April, 1028. I have a feeling that it's probably maybe it was either like a, a rune that has been requested or it might be a bit dearer because there's the it's what is this? I can't a remember. Series really. raised. Series raised, yeah, there we go. That's coming up and that's going to be something. It's, I think it's a bit short. I think they made it a bit short this year, haven't they? From what I'm aware. I don't know the details like, of it, yeah. I think they made like 33-ish or like 30 old games maybe uh, compared to like a lot more <laughs> before. Which, fair play. I can completely understand that. Uh, do, do, do. Oh. uh fourth gen gamer with 16th in any percent of Mega Ruby with a 314 and 41, and then Corbin May in ninth with a 311 11. Uh, I know she wants to improve that. Currently on PB pace. Oh, really? In Norman's gym. Oh, all right. <laughs> Uh, I just ruined the run. I'm sorry, Kamei. <laughs> <laughs> See, as soon as you say no, it's like, oh no. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully it'll work out. Uh, oh, five, oh, last month. But still, uh, five upper. With a third place in Sun, Moon, any percent. Like 5, 28, 27. <laughs> Not too much to be happy about with this run. Fair enough. Uh, and then, Wolf, third Neo, Sion, Regnate. Renegade? No, that was wrong. Neo Cyan Renegade with a 62629. Also from last month, but seeing runs from or oh, like Sun Moon or Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, like with Stochi with a 55304. You don't really see too many runs. Maybe like maybe like one or two a month. It's very it's nice. I'm at the point where I feel like they're underrated games. Like people give them a lot more stick. When really the stick should be given to Gen 6 because they're not good games. But anyway, uh, opinions taken. <laughs> uh, I'll let you, I'll, Erica, I'll let you with the let's go. This um, is a lot. <laughs> yeah, lots of lots of stuff to unpack with let's go here. Um, so obviously Etchy. Uh, so starting with Eevee, we have Etchy getting the new record. Caterny is getting seventh with a 304.44 that was achieved during Blitz. Um, Head Bob in 11th with a 307 which is you know definitely a respectable time but made more respectable from the fact that they basically started running the game like a week and a half ago so oh, what <laughs> yeah really? oh no <laughs> um or maybe like two weeks ago something like that <laughs> and uh very very fast improvement there um uh sigh with a 317 they actually just got a 313 i think last night Probably just not submitted yes, yet. They did. Sorry. Um <laughs> Yeah, no, and then and then another another few uh you know, decent runs, first runs, things like that, Kipper in and Frozen Flygon. Uh actually and then, I think very quickly oh. with Frozen Flygon, as far as I remember, I think Let's Go, as well as with Blitz, I think it was the game of the month for Frames Fatals. Yes. Yes it was. So that's also cool. I might I don't know if it's linked to that, but I know that I believe uh, like D John are part of that community as well as May who made a a lot of like the made like resources specifically because of that and also just general knowledge as well. I think for old runners. Oh yeah. So that's that's cool. There's run uh, people come over from over there and done runs. Yeah, I mean it's been it's been a really good month for Let's Go, um, and then. And then, yeah, moving over to Pikachu, Kerbis with the new record, Jim Freak with the 30302 achieved during Blitz. Um, Saiyan got a 30321 just before Blitz. Aspect has been doing runs, got a 306. Um, and then Psychic Champion picked up the game as well. So, really, really good month overall there. Um, moving on to Sword Shield. Uh, this is sort of, I mean, not that these times are bad by any means, but this is sort of like a filling out of the 1.2 categories is sort of how I'm seeing it. Um, Joylin with in second place, 412, War tapped out of 414. Um, Alex does plenty with a 418. And then Shield, J. Ash got 317. Um, so I think over the next few months, these will be getting filled out a lot more. Hopefully. I know you talked about maybe doing runs again. 
I don't know. Yeah, I, I, um, I actually, I did a run on Wednesday uh, of Shield. Got a zero to two IV attack minus nature Arcanine and died to Marnie one and then just switched over to Let's Go. Yeah, well, <laughs> respect, yeah, fair. <laughs> Welcome uh, back. I'll, I'll, I'll be, yeah, I'll be doing runs more. I just, I was trying to do like just a one day off from Let's Go, just do a complete run, so I have a time on leaderboards, and it just didn't want to let me do it. So yeah. Uh, you, and then I, yeah, uh, a few decent uh, DLC times as well. Sub four ten for tinted lenses. Uh, in sword. Uh, new new snap is. Again, with me fairly new, a lot of uh, runes getting filled out. Uh, mentioned Martin's run earlier. Uh, Ib with a 233.48. Own Noob with a 236.19. Alfindiol with a 236.52. Geneticist with a 250.08. And Namnoms42 with a 255.35. Great name. Uh, and then in all Pokemon, Own Noob with the uh, 340 flat world record and then if with a 343.23 I think they are the only two runs at Calvary uh, and then okay that's a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of, anyway March from March 11th uh, Qtaro with the second in a second for Pokemon Sacred Gold Storm Silver with a 309.27 and then third, Devin Kennedy with a 347.54. And then, I don't know if that was the same run or not. I feel like it might be, but any percent glitchless to Lance. Devin Kennedy in second with a 243.41. Um, also, apologies if you can hear anything in the background. England are currently playing right now. Uh, <laughs> and I think something just happened. I don't know what. But anyway, uh, mentioned Jim's uh, Jim's Blue Kaiser World Record. Um, Poker Clicker. I don't know if this is just because of who, like, like the discords I'm in. Poker Clicker seems to just take over for a moment. Not necessarily speedrun, but just it seems to take over this month. And there has been some runs to reflect it. Uh, specifically, Kanto Champion Clickless. Uh, Kaguya, Kaguya Nikki with a 145.02. Alright, uh, this might just be me being a bit dumb. How can you have clickless runs in a poker clicker game? Or in a clicker game? I know it's possible because I know like Cookie Clicker has it. I have just, no idea. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it just seems like an oxymoron. <laughs> I think that's an oxymoron. Really? Is it one of these YouTube videos where it's like, uh, how, how many clicks does it take to beat Pokey Clicker with as little clicks as little, little uh, I can't speak little clicks as possible? Is it like one of those small ant challenges or what? Actually, Kagi and Nikki have just noticed in the chat. How, like, I mean, if you, if you don't mind answering, uh, how does a clickless run happen? You still having this click? Is it just like? Kind of like quote unquote clickless. You have to do like the minimum amount of clicks. Is it that type of run? Low percent? <laughs> yeah, is it like, yeah, it could be. That might actually be a good way of thinking about that. But anyway, uh, 151 Pokemon, both of them are the same run. Mr. Pitts with a 10 hour, 30 minutes, and 2 seconds, 0. 0.55 uh, second run. Fair. It's fair play. <laughs> Okay, you can only not click on the Pokemon, except the starter. Right, I assume you probably have to pick the starter, and that's why then. Interesting though. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too familiar with. I've never played a clicker game. Okay, I'm trying to think how I actually maybe played the clicker. I don't think I've played a clicker game. I'm not too familiar with them at all. Um. Pokemon Rumble Weekend Edition, uh, RDA, who uh, is, I don't know, still in chat. Uh, lots of world records. Uh, All Sage GX uh, with a 105.33. Complete the game all stages, 214.21. Complete the game any percent, 128.37. Any percent normal, 
uh, 28.04 and then 80% advanced, 30.04. Um, and then Pokemon Tournament DX. Uh, combo, don uh, combo Dojo or combos without DLC. Uh, world record by Wise Pokemon with a 1643.07. And then with DLC. Uh, 18, 17.95. Uh, is there anything that you are aware of? I don't, I don't know how much you kept an eye out on just random stuff. Uh, etiquette. Mm -hmm. About the category ascension. I guess we can have a quick skim through. But... I can't think of anything. I guess I'll give credit oh. to Shifty School for world record and 80% glitch was blindfolded. I know that they're, they're a blindfold runner from what I've seen. Still impressive though. Very impressive with a 216.19. Like a lot of these runs, I don't know how many of them are like single run world records or not. I guess custom started Venusaur for Red Blue. Oh, also, uh, I think almost all the category ascensions have now been split up. Okay. Uh, except, I think everything except for Gen 2 is now done uh, from the looks of things. So. I assume, I don't know if they're planning on even doing that, I don't know if they want it, but assuming they do want it, I assume Wartab will be uh, doing that soon. And like a big shout out to Wartab and to anyone else I, I'm not aware of who's been sorting out uh, the things behind the scenes. I imagine it's a, it's a fair amount of work that probably being done behind the scenes for all of this. Yeah, technical issues on Wartab's side. Yeah, and that's, that's always a pain. <laughs> Uh, technical issues, always a pain. Trust me. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I assume, like, big shout out to what happened to everyone who's been sorting, like, sorting it all out. Uh, Pokemon Yellow category ascensions, though. Alt main pokes, Venusaur. Pickle Pop with a 307.37. Oh, wait. Again, a lot of these ones are going to be from, like, the past as well, aren't they? That's from February. Yeah. I think this is <laughs> going to be every. Every yellow category extension is going to show oh, up right no. now. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay, we're on to it. Wasn't, wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be, but still, still a lot. Uh, and these ones will be uh, actually, actually new because, again, Gen two not even moved over. So, uh, cousin start of a crystal uh, concert with uh, our is that time of three oh seven fifty six. Sub 308, Gio Michael all eight. Uh based on the from the comments. Um this is Fire Red Leaf Green's also being moved over. Hang on. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh do, do, do. and then Emerald as well. The oh actually no, is Emerald Emerald's the one that I think is not changed. I think it was Ruby Sapphire that being uh, is broken out. One. Yeah. So uh old main pokes, Blazikun. Israel, Israel Cool, 22, with an 8, 14, 12. Um, I assume that could probably be improved. I don't know how, I don't know much about the run, but I think typically Emerald runs are like, well, Emerald runs are like low, or like around 230, so I'd imagine like that could be improved. So like it'll be yeah. improvement. And then, catch them all. Oh my god. <laughs> Catch them all glitchless. Uh, Rushmore with a 2052.40. Fair play. All respect for that. Uh, Manipulus glitchless. Crafted with a world record with a 353.34. Uh, Etchy with alt main post Hold Terror. He didn't used to be my favourite Gen 4 starter, but it's not my favourite Gen 4 starter this week. Uh, 420 to 50. I think this was done for. Uh, I mentioned the name earlier. Let me get the name of it. The uh, Pride, 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 of, Pride of all the guys. Yeah, I believe it was done for that. Like routed out and everything. But yeah, edgy has been on. He's done a lot of routes for Platinum. I believe. He's got he's gotten the route in bug. You're going to be great because I can then take it for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. <laughs> I'd have to think. <laughs> I'm not a router. Uh, looking so. Heart Gold Soul Silver, Category Extensions, 
minute plus glitch list worst over there 34629 uh rubentus in fourth with a 34737 and then gammy uh oh, not gammy gimme gammy's different gimme uh with a mini plus any percent of 22108 and then all obtainable legends okay that seems painful but 60555 that's actually a Easy time, like a better time than I would have thought, to be fair. I, I feel like that, I thought there'd be a lot more. A lot, a lot like, there'd be some rubbish. So I guess maybe I'm not too, I'm not too familiar with Gen 4, so that might, might just be me. Um, Edhead with the black white, uh, manipulous English world record with a 33829. Uh, Utora with a manipulous black two white two time of 234 flat. Sloppy, apparently. Uh, sloppy, and it's like 11 seconds behind me now. The world record. That's impressive. Uh, etiquette. How was that? How was your run? I, I, you can speak to this one, can't you, I believe? The uh, Omega uh, The Sceptile run? Yep. <laughs> Um, that's not, that's not a terrible time by any means. Um, I think like the Blaziken time, Sceptile should be worse than Blaziken and Blaziken's in like the 340s. Um, Josh and I had did, did that one unrouted race, so I don't know really what kind of potential there is, but it's definitely better than our runs. <laughs> definitely. And then also Waltab with the Trail Me Flygon, uh, World Record. We have to be Flygon's a cool Pokemon. Uh, you, I wouldn't expect normally to be routed. It was done back in April, apparently, but um, I assume it might be one of War Tab's channel point rewards. I know he yeah, has probably. one of them. Uh, oh, Etiquette! Chew Co op, World Record. Oh, yeah. That was me and my wife. We did a uh, true co op in Let's Go Eevee. 326. We hit two optionals in the. Um, I talked to. I talked to the sailor in. Surge's gym instead of the the can and then uh, I messed up Alexa skip but yeah overall not a not a bad time at all we want to do Pikachu still but just haven't done it yet you want to try the bad version is that right I mean we already did the better version all right all right <laughs> uh also second place in ditch build by emus 33 34 and all right, we can ignore Chikas. Chikas doesn't deserve anything. <laughs> uh, Chikas is an in-game squad it. Oh, in-game trade squad it. Yeah, Josh with a 4 hours 48.08 time. Mad. It's also, I think it's also got like the worst nature for the squad it. I think it's like modest, yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's terrible. It's a terrible Pokemon. Or mild. I think it's mild. Uh, is it mild? Either way, it's still... It's awful, yeah. Yeah, it's awful, so fair play to... Uh, to Josh, ruin that. Um, Ma alt means with eternities. Darmanitan, uh, Galarian Darmanitan. Uh, four twenty nine fifty. Cool. Okay, it's it's just another one of those Pokemon that. I you don't like because I think it has a gorilla tactics, which is like. Uh, like it's like it's like um. It, it locks your moves in with like a choice scarf or something. Yeah. It's basically choice band in ability form. So it boosts your attack, but you can only pick one move. All right. Thank you. Um, I think also, like, because there's obviously, a, there's can be a lot with these first sword. I think the last main one to call out or to point out trade out main Palkia by aspect 342 44. I think that makes it the second fastest behind Dialga. That's been done, unless yep. there's something I'm forgetting. I believe you are right. Yeah. Okay. Another pretty cool thing. Uh, do do. Uh, uh trade on me, Sylveon, actually, as well, just because I know there's quite a few people that have done that. Four hundred three twenty point six nine. Really good time. Uh, a like, really really good time. But like, fair play to Aspect, who is being killing it with like. Great alt mains. Uh, in the past, more specifically, I think 
I might be wrong. I think his focus has more recently been Let's Go and has got a PB in Let's Go. That was mentioned earlier. Yep. Um, uh, Dynamax Adventure 1 player. So 5. Well, oh, this is actually uh, something that's interesting to point out. That's oh, like the Dynamax Adventure categories are now allowing non-English uh, submissions in terms of like game that you play or the game language. So if you want to run it in, in, in French, you can and the French is currently the world record. I don't know if it's if that makes a difference. Like, I assume it probably doesn't make any difference realistically, but or anything that's notable. Right. But still, if you don't, if you just want to go into your casual save that happens to be in German, or in any other language, go ahead. You can do that, right? And then also, like, four, I think I think the two-player one might be um, just uh, the only room, but the four-player world record uh, by Have Kind Name, Brand B1, the Cruel, and Jenna with a 705. Very good run. Uh, big, seven, like that's surprising because for four players, you have to go through all the uh, all the animations. You can't turn the animations off. So just another, just pretty cool run. Um, stadium, <laughs> stadiums had a, uh, all the category extensions have had a pretty busy month. Um, I'll, I'll run off these quickly. So for transfer stadium during the castle round one switch uh switch with uh 122 19 all these are world records uh complete stadium mode class with a 4 56 40 uh kids club normal three wins for stadium two uh poker hero with a 202.28 uh, the normal nine wins is an 852.43 um mini game champion very hard nine tokens in stadium two and 916.633. Um, all routes for Battle Revolution, uh, Cindy plus Daisy plus Joel, uh, Joel, Joel, with an RDA with a 529.09, uh, Nate plus Tommy, 420.04, Tommy with a 420.04. Okay, I assume, I mean, it's clearly valid. Uh, and then Joel with a 52909 uh, to round out. The stadium also includes Battle Revolution. Yeah. For their category extensions. And then last but not least, because why not? They're all, they're all there. Uh, Pokemon Train Card Game category extensions. Squirtle and Friends. Frank uh, Franksy with a 5928. And then second. And then Imakuni percent by Chris is Me. Second place with a 405. Uh, yeah, just the last things to round up now. Um, big notice, if you are an older school speedrunner who has done runs before 2017, um, and you like to, or you submit your, or you like to upload them as, is it unlisted? Yeah, unlisted. Unlisted, yeah. Um, in the, I, I think sometime this month, YouTube are... Basically making all unlisted uh, videos no longer viewable in any form unless you opt out of the change. If it affects you, I think you get informed. So, uh, yes, change it if you want them changing. If not, uh, maybe this is also a call out to leadable moderators for games where it could be affected. Um, maybe try it, like, because especially if it's inactive runners, but. Uh, no one really knows all I don't hear from them now. Uh, might be good to back up those runs. Just so that just so that they're preserved. Cause you don't want like but for runs there it's like like uh, if they're just inactive runners now. It, like, it'd be good to have that bit of history. Uh, and then also the Pokemon Crystal Cinco Bingo tournament is accepting sign ups. Uh, and by I think this has the aim to start a yearly cycle of rando events, uh, called into Gar, a Garfield Lightning. 
if you would like the Discord to uh, Crystal Single Bingo, I believe that is the link. If it is not, my apologies. I don't know um, why I've sent you. <laughs> I'll click it. Yeah, that's the right one. All right, good. No mistakes here. <laughs> I mean, okay. I, I'm pretty sure I got the link from Gar, so it should be right, but I am also an idiot. There's always a chance I can mess things up. Um, and yeah. Uh, Edgar and Bridgewood, thank you for coming on to the podcast. Do you have any like last things you want to say? Also, thank you to Sko who had to leave. <laughs> um... I cannot believe there's a TCG game speedrun. I n I've never seen that before. That's oh, really... <laughs> uh, TCG, I think, had a world record broken last month. Or oh, wow. Like that. Yeah, TCG, like... It's an intro... Like, it goes ridiculously fast. Like... Really? If you just watch the game... Like, if you were just watching the game, it looks fast. So, so yeah, no there's a lot of menuing. Like, a lot of menuing. Ah, really interesting. Really. fingers. Must, must be a hand destroyer, but it's still, it's it seems cool. It does seem cool. I've never played I, again. I've never played the games, but it does seem cool as a run. Uh, and yeah. Uh, I try to think. Um. Yeah. That's yeah. I've, I've got I've got nothing else to say except um we've got a bunch of you know marathons coming up this month that we sort of highlighted earlier. So just a big good luck to all the runners. Um, because it's. A, not just a lot of marathons, a lot of big marathons. So it is exciting for us. Yeah, and once again, good luck to anyone who submitted to Midwest Speed Fest. And yeah, that's that's the end. So thank you everyone for coming in and watching. And I hope you have a good rest of your day or evening, wherever you are. And maybe stay around just for a tiny bit. So you can read someone. Because I forgot to do that last month. Take care. <laughs>